Are you using plastic straws? Cancel! Yo, here's your coffee. That was nine dollars. But there's something even worse. Something so detrimental to the world of drinks and enjoying things. Paper straws. Whose idea was it to use something that absorbs water to drink water? Like, you open up your environmentally friendly paper straw in a plastic wrapper to use in your plastic cup. And you guys know me, I'm not wasteful. So I've taken it upon myself to come up with a new way to drink without a straw, period. You're welcome. So how am I going to drink without a straw? Can't you just like drink it normally? Dude, you can't make it look so easy. Why not? Because now we don't have a video to film. But now I don't have a coffee either. So I had an idea in mind and modeled it up in Onshape, my favorite browser-based CAD software. This is a pump motor. Dan, this is an air pump. We're about to submerge this in water. Is this gonna be okay? Water has air in it. Water? DJ business! <laughs> and that idea was uh, just yeeting water into my mouth with a pump. Dude, I made the holes for these wires too small. This is so stupid. It's done. We have battery pack. We have button. And we also have exposed wires to dip into. <laughs> Step one, pour water. Two, stick whatever the heck this is on there. I'm not having flashbacks to bees. You are. Mission objective. Suck up all the yellow jackets into this jar. And now you go and you take a nice environmentally friendly drink. Oh my god! You know, I don't know if it's safe having it land on the battery pack like that. Yo, we can share drinks now without having to like put our mouth on the same thing. You want a sip? I'm I'm good. Here. No. You want some? No. Here oh. you go. Wait. Come back. No. Draw nothing. How you use it? You totally just put your mouth on that. You you don't have to keep going. It's like a water bone. Maybe he's thirsty. And you know what worked okay, but at some point you, you gotta have a little bit more chaos, you know? Okay, we've tried throwing the liquid in our face, but I was having trouble coming up with some other ideas, so I asked my Patreon members, and someone came up with the idea of using centrifugal force. AKA, we're gonna spin around the cup real fast and see what happens. Not me using a drill to take apart another drill. That's an impact. We have more modeled parts. This part's gonna sit around the cup and then when the liquid gets yeeted up into the air, it will direct it into my mouth. Should I go ahead and talk about how I don't think this is gonna work? So if we put a cup with a little attachment. So we're gonna pour this in there. Did I, do I have it scored out over the battery like a smart person? Oh. Ooh, it's going up the cup. That is everywhere but where we want it to come out of. Why do we keep doing this inside? Did I hear someone say full send? No. Yes? No. Okay. No. It went partly out. Is it perfect? No. You can't stop. Once you pull the trigger, you have to keep going, all right? Neighbors are watching. Do it. <laughs> you held it so low. I'm so good. This is also a great way to force you to drink all of your water at once. Hydrate or dehydrate, I guess. You really, you're happy about this. You thought that worked? I mean, I'm warm and dry. Not too fond of that one. Well, that kind of sucked. But you know what else sucks? Vacuum cleaners. And straws. Another concept. Remember the cursed wasp video that everyone got mad at me for because half the time I called the wasps the bees even though they were just wasps? Well, we use this to suck up the wasps into a jar. I'm like actually freaking out right now. Are you okay? I'm good. We stuck a vacuum on this side and then whoop, there they go. So I simply took this cyclone attachment and made it smaller. Hold on, I don't know if y'all saw that meme going around, but I can't let people see what types of tools I'm using. This is my favorite brand, Reed. Just also happens to be green. That's better. This is the spout I drink out of. This is the spout that attaches to the water. And we attach this guy to the Reed. So this is what it looks like. Dan, hand me the hose. And then we're gonna take this hose and it's gonna go. Damn, this is not the hose that we used for the bee video, is it? Yeah. There's probably like remains of the yellow jackets in here. 
They didn't die, what are you talking about? Yes sir, I would like another cup of beer. Pour it. Pour it right here. To use the whatever the heck this is, I'm gonna put my finger over the spout. I'm gonna turn the vacuum on. I can let go and when I turn the vacuum off, there's a little bit of water. Oh yeah, I sure do love me some wasp water. Ah, it's so good. We love hydrating. So yeah, that, that one sucked, but I couldn't come up with any more ideas until inspiration struck. So I took advantage of gravity in a totally comfortable and reasonable way. Hat. It's like Smitty's hat, but you know, without a straw. This isn't a straw. You, you take this guy and then you put the cup in there and then you use gravity to drink. This reminds me of like gear that gamers would buy when they don't want to leave their chair for something. It's like crazy front heavy. Good soup. So maybe I shouldn't push it with my hand manually. Instead, I'm gonna use a servo. So I added straps and prepared for the worst. Oh no, bro. I am smitty. It's very cursed, but I press the button. It goes a little bit. Press the button again a little bit more and then finally dumps the rest out. I don't have to worry about drowning anymore. First, you pour yourself a nice drink. Uh-oh. Where's my phone? Sorry, that was my doctor that called probably something about my mental health or whatever. Anyway, let's continue to fill this up. More. <laughs> It's just like shooting at my chin. Okay, we have readjusted the hat. Ah, uh, yes. Water. Water. Ah, uh, yes. I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty now. Finally, it was time to decide which of my extraordinary and totally practical inventions would be the next revolutionary way to drink water. A lot of people ask me how I come up with my unhinged and cursed ideas. Well, let me tell you, it's because I'm big brain. But brain not become big by nothing, brain become big with Brilliant. The best way to learn math, computer science, and other STEM topics online. Brilliant has thousands of lessons to offer and they're tailored to your skill level. Lessons are incredibly interactive to hold that two second attention span of yours and they're extremely effective. I've been using it to learn more about computer programming. I love being able to go at my own pace and being a visual learner myself. All the visual aids are super helpful in understanding concepts. And the best part is it holds my attention so well, I don't need things like this to concentrate. And you can learn on the go on your phone, PC, or tablet. So if you're interested in trying out Brilliant, you can go to the link in the description and try it out for free for 30 days and the first 200 of you to use that link will get 20% off of your annual subscription. So be sure to go to brilliant.org slash Emily the Engineer and thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Goodbye.